what I wanted to do was have the, I wanted a lot more of the story in the game, but because a lot of our mechanics and game engine was taking too long to get, I had to back them into the movies. And what that meant was we had an original movie budget of about 18 minutes. But as basically years are going by and we're still having some challenges at the core engine level of getting the scale of world that we want, getting the memory management to be what we want, like things you don't have to deal with in a movie, you know, mm-hmm. and it all has to run in real time. So this was like, you know, not to be underestimated challenges. And, uh, and, so, and so I was thinking, I wanted so much more of the story in the gameplay. You know, you go up, you talk to this guy, he gives you this information, you do these other things that, that would be very engaging. Those systems didn't uh, develop that, much more sophisticated than they had been in the past, but the systems that did was like the camera system. So what I did was I had to say, well, more of the story is going to have to be told in movie because I I can't tell where in the game I'll actually be able to tell it. And this was because that depends on features and that depends on technology and tools. And, um, you know, with the various challenges, those were unknown. So it went, shit, I just got to back in. I remember telling Sherry, I was like, Sherry, you love the stories that we tell, um, but the you know we're having a lot of challenges with the game technology, and I, I think the smartest thing for us to do is just increase the movie budget quite a bit, and just you know just not try to get that into the game, just have the game be good game, and and so with the camera system, I was I was trying to get that sense of the game would feel more like movies at times, even though it was more action gameplay telling the story within there. And then you'd hit your, you know, your sort of classic cinematic moment and not knowing where that would be laid out meant that we added up to, I think ultimately we delivered 52 minutes of, uh, of animated, you know, computer graphics of, of high resolution, you know, AK textures on the characters, the Gluckens. And in that just real quick, I wanted to get that, hyper expression where the rigging was different than normal. Like normally you just have the eyes. And I was like, no, the eyeball needs to get bigger. And then the eye socket needs to. And so with the rigging, they were like, what? And we went through some challenges there, but I really wanted that feeling where when you looked at a still frame, I wanted this in the game, but that wasn't reasonable. So in the cinematics, it was there where it was like, anytime you see a still frame of the characters, I was like, their expressions should be so, so identifiable that we have a good idea what they're thinking. So if we just took a still shot of a, in, of a movie sequence where we see a number of characters talking, we should see like from their expressions, we should have a good idea what's going on. So we went for what I would call hyper expressive, which often in animation, you're trying to squash and stretch, you know, bodies and things like that. But I wanted that happening in the face in a more kind of realistic way so that the characters would be more engaging and hopefully more funny, even though they were evil. <laughs> 